Good morning, everyone. Joe here at Sports Grid. Let's have an MLB Cup of Joe. Three games I'm going to look at today. I'm going to look at the Jays versus the Rays again, the Colorado Rockies and the Diamondbacks, as well as the Cardinals versus the Dodgers. Now let's talk about the Cardinals versus the Dodgers first. Yamamoto getting the start here. He has a strikeout prop of five and a half, and I do like it to that over. Yes, he absolutely struggled in that game versus the San Diego Padres, but I do think a little bit of jitters in that debut. I'm expecting him to come out nice and strong versus the St. Louis Cardinals, get those strikeouts on the board, but I'm also looking looking at those first the first inning. The first inning here, Lance Lynn getting the start for the St. Louis Cardinals. We know how powerful the lineup is of the LA Dodgers. I'm expecting them to hit Lance Lynn and hit him fast. And if Yamamoto comes out and has the jitters in this first inning, we can see the Cardinals be able to hit off of him as well. I'm going to take the two plus runs in the first inning. That's coming in up plus 210. I think both of these teams have the opportunity to get on the board, but I do expect with Otani, Freddie Freeman, and Mookie Betts for the runs to come out of the Dodgers in that first inning. Give me two plus runs in the first inning at plus 210. Let's look at the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. Now, this is game three of the series between these two, and both of these teams have been able to record a win in one of those. Toronto getting the win in the first day, 8-2, to two, and then the Rays answering back yesterday, 8-2. to two. This total of 8.5 is just too light, in my opinion. I expect it to fly over that. I'm going to take the over 8.5. Now, Kikuchi getting the start for the Toronto Blue Jays. Well, I do think we can take his strikeouts to the over 5.5 and, and get that beautiful plus money at plus 130. I also think the Tampa Bay Rays are going to hit nicely off of him. We've seen the Tampa Bay Rays get three or more runs in three of the four meetings last versus Kikuchi. So they will hit him today. And then... Toronto's lineup is just so powerful. Now, Bobachet was held off the board yesterday, but we have seen George Springer record a home run in both of these games so far. Uh, Vladdy has been playing phenomenal. I expect this one to nicely fly over that total of eight and a half. And then let's look at the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, we've been riding the Diamondbacks in the first five innings on that run line, laying the one and a half in the last two games, and that has cashed nicely for us. I'm going to look at this full game to the over. I don't trust either starting pitcher in the this matchup and I think we're going to have a high scoring game. That total is high though at nine and a half. I still like it to the over. All the best in all of your bets. Let's make some freaking money out there on the diamond. Stay tuned for a pocket cup of Joe as well.